coast, always in me Commonwealth, little junk, getting love from my city yeah. I roll call for the DMV In my own lane, you could still ride with me yeah. No one knows I made mistakes You won't end, but it's too late I don't need your support just to know I'm important I won't ever sell myself short Cause I know you'll see me on the come up Big dreams and big drip Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up I'ma put my money where my mouth is Talk a good game, I'm my alpha babe Even on my worst day, still an alpha babe Standing next to me, you gotta be an alpha to my channel if you are new here welcome if you like fragrance makeup skincare and vlogs real people and real talk definitely subscribe to my channel so y'all we back to vlogging i have not vlogged in like over a year and that's unacceptable y'all that is about to change we're about to get back on our vlogging and i'm excited um since i have not vlogged in so long though i was like okay maybe i should do a q a because i have a lot of subscribers that didn't watch my old vlogs or whatever and you know i'm getting ready to start vlogging so why don't y'all get to know me a little bit <laughs> decide if y'all want to stay here <laughs> every time i do a vlog y'all i lose subscribers like a lot of them too. <laughs> like i don't know i guess they i don't know they just be like she's too much i can't <laughs> so i don't know so i asked y'all like a couple months ago in my community tab to leave me some questions like ask me anything and y'all y'all wasn't asking me nothing <laughs> back when i was doing natural hair content and i told them to ask me anything girl they was getting spicy they was all in the business okay <laughs> like well we have fun and yeah so i'm gonna go through the questions that y'all asked me and then i just pulled some questions up off the internet to help y'all get to know me a little bit more so this is gonna be a long vlog okay because i have not vlogged in so long so hopefully y'all like long vlogs let me know if you like long vlogs or not um but yeah so you might as well get your wine your coffee your tea whatever you want get you a snack curl up on the couch or in the bed girl because we but we finna be here for a minute okay so i got the questions pulled up right here and we're gonna get started go through them what was your last perfume purchase um y'all i've really been chilling i have been chilling the hype is gone like the, the the thrill is gone like not completely gone but like just every week buying perfumes like five or six perfumes like no i ain't been doing that i've been chilling but the last um last two perfumes i purchased i believe were absolute aphrodisiac and Anishi um atomic rose when Anishia was having a sale are you willing to give a box of perfumes away to one of your fans that truly loves you i don't even have a box of perfumes to get rid of because i be using my perfumes up if you are not new here you know i will use a perfume up honey i will repurpose it i will do something but i'm gonna get my money's worth okay how do you empty so many bottles and what does overspring look like for you so if you watch my video from last year the end of last year i emptied like 27 bottles of perfume just last year um i'm definitely not doing that this year because i've got my fragrance collection like kind of curated to where i really enjoy 
mostly everything in it and even though in that video i emptied a lot of fragrances that i enjoyed and i liked i'm not going through my fragrances as fast this time because i'm not just solely focusing on fragrances to um empty so that's what i was doing last year because i was doing that um you know those videos where you know what i wear this week and everything like that but i stopped doing that because i needed to focus on fragrances that i wanted to go ahead and use up and get out of my collection whether I liked them or I didn't, I just wanted to make room for new fragrances. So, um, what does over spraying look like for me? I, I mean, I spray my whole entire body after I lotion and oil up. I spray my whole entire body, and then once I get dressed, I spray my my clothes. I, I spray my clothes before I even put them on. Like once I lay out my outfit, what I'm wearing, I spray that down. I spray my whole body, and then before I leave, I'm spraying again. So, girl, over spraying is exactly that over spraying. Bug spray before or after your fragrance? I'm going to say after because I'm not even leaving the house without spraying on my fragrance. So I spray my fragrance and then I guess wherever we on our way to are going. And once we get there and we need bug spray, then I spray the bug spray on. But yeah, I'm not like spraying on bug spray before I even left the house. Like, no, nah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> One scent for the rest of your life. That's so hard because I look at my fragrance collection. I'm like, they all my babies. They all my babies. They all my babies. I have so many. I should do that. I do a video like a for life video. Like fragrances I would always have to have. But um, I think Delina Exclusive would be one of them. So I'll just use that for now. What are the best layering combos? I just did. Well, not just did. But for the summer, I did some bomb summer layering combos. I'll leave that video look, look, linked for y'all. And now I got to do a fall one. So I'm going to do a fall winter layering combo um, video for y'all. Girl, I just love your recommendations and everything. So I'm here for anything that you post. What would you recommend for affordable skincare? That's my girl, Latanya Gibson Bowman. And that's my girl because I don't care what I post. I can post a video about my big toe, honey. And Latanya going to be in the comments like, girl, let's see what this big toe giving today. Okay, like she's going to watch it. And I just love her for that. Like, I love you for that. Like, you're going to watch anything that I upload. And I appreciate you and people like you. Um, what do I recommend for affordable skincare? Y'all, um, La Roche-Posay has really surprised me this year. Like, I was never checking for La Roche-Posay. And one day they just sent me PR. And I started using their products. And I was like, okay, these are good affordable products. Like, I really do enjoy them. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up. Like, affordable skincare, the best affordable skincare is Asian skincare. Korean skincare is the best. Um, I haven't really gotten into a lot of Japanese brands. But for for skincare being affordable and a plus formulas korean skincare all day but i do like la roche posay if you're looking for something you can just go to like target walmart cbs or something like that and get if you had to pick a staple day night fragrance what would it be and why i know y'all just saw my sexy fragrance video so any of those of course i think a lot of y'all already knew that black phantom would be the choice like i love me some black phantom <laughs> what's your absolute favorite sunscreen and which would you recommend um i my absolute favorite was this one by make prim it was like their blu-ray sun gel i don't think they specifically make that particular formula anymore but i think they make something similar but this year so far i've been still liking that one i actually emptied that one um the la roche posay um inky uh dermalogica fenty um the uh super goop spray uh black girl sunscreen absolutely i love it um yeah so those are like my favorite sunscreens what is a life lesson you wish you knew sooner or one that you would live by? Your best days are on the, on the other side of fear. Um, I feel like I hold myself back a lot of times from doing things that I want to do, I would enjoy doing, or that would, you know, flourish my life in different ways and I'd be scared. Um, and fear holds me back from doing those things. And yes, yeah, when it holds me back, then I can't grow. I can't progress. I can't go to the next level because I'm scared. And just so be like being in my comfort zone, like, and you got to come out of your comfort zone. Like you have to, if you comfortable, then you just going to stay there and you're going to stay stagnant. It's going to get to a point where you're stagnant because you're comfortable. So you always want to Push yourself to do things that if you want to do it, but you're afraid to do it, try it. Because not trying is actually failing. You know what I'm saying? If you do it and you fail, okay, you tried it. At least you tried it. You know, it didn't work. It didn't work out the way you wanted it to, but you tried it. 
But if you never try it, then you fail. You automatically fail because you didn't even try it. You know what I mean? So don't let your fear block you from things that can really help you grow and progress in life, whether that's in your um, career, your relationship, your friendships. Um, you know, don't be afraid to make new friends. I know Drake was like, no new friends, no new friends. I'm down for the new friends, okay? Because the old ones, we ain't on the same page no more. You know what I'm saying? Um, or we just all live in different lives and we just don't mesh the way we used to. Um, and same thing with your career. If you feel like you stuck and, you know, you deserve more, push yourself to um, go to the next level, whatever that may be for you. If you want to start a business, but you've been scared, start that business. Put your whole heart and your focus into it as you have time to do it. You know, because I know with us working full-time jobs, we can't just put all our time into, you know, a, a business or what we want to do because we got to do what we have to do. You know what I'm saying? The job is paying the bills or whatever the case. So you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to go over here and play and do what I want to do and hope, me, hope it make me some money. Like, you can't really do that. But when you have time... Push, push some focus into what you want to do and don't be scared and hopefully everything works out for you. So I'm doing that in my life too. Like I'm trying to come out of being afraid to do things that I want to do. Just because I'm scared that it might not work. You know what I mean? Or I might be wasting my time. Or I don't know. And then and don't get scared when it doesn't pop off as soon as you start doing it. Like stay consistent and keep doing it. And you never know. It might be that one day where God turns your whole life around. So that was it. Like that's all y'all asked me. <laughs> right so you see what i'm saying like where was the spicy questions where was where was all the other stuff i mean i i don't know i know we all drinking water about it our business but y'all was really minding y'all damn business okay so he, these are just some questions that i got off the internet it was just a screenshot of some questions girl so hopefully this will help y'all get to know me a little better because y'all sure ain't asked me nothing good okay so now y'all gotta work wait for the next q a so don't be all in the comments trying to ask me questions now y'all gotta wait for the next q a but let's see what this has to say okay it says what's your name denisa door okay of course i wouldn't be giving my government <laughs> What's your age? I am 43. I can't believe that my birthday is like in like six months, five months or something like that. What's your sexuality? Strictly dickly. What's your zodiac sign? What's your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is a Pisces and I really don't hear a lot of Pisces. Like nobody ever talks about Pisces. Like and when they do, they talk about Pisces are so emotional and they cry all the time. Like I think I'm an emotional person, but crying all the time, like, I don't think so. Like, if I'm passionate about something, I'm trying to ex say something, like, I might cry in an argument. I might cry while I'm beating your ass. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I am an emotional person, but as I've gotten older, I've learned how to control my emotions better. I think that a lot of people don't talk about Pisces that much because we kind of fly under the radar because we get along with everybody. You know how, like... Aries can't rock with these people and Taurus can't rock with them and Virgos can't rock with them. and Like, we ain't like that. We get along with everybody until we don't. Like, I I have never had a friendship that's, I know, I'm no longer friends with that person and it was my fault. Never, ever, ever, ever. Like, ever. They, everybody did something to me or did something and I was like, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I think Pisces are just one of those like chameleon type of um, zodiac signs. We cool with everybody. We get and not cool with everybody. I don't mean it like that. I mean like we can get along with everyone until we don't or we don't like the vibe or we don't like the energy or it's just something giving off to where it's like mm mm that no. So but other than that, we yeah we get along pretty much with everybody. And I love that for me. What's your what color is your hair? It's brown. It's like a a dusty brown though it's like a number two Ugh, it's so ugh. i don't like it i need to dye it black now while i'm talking about it what color are your eyes my eyes are brown i love my eye color what's your relationship status i'm very much so in a relationship and have been for a while a very long while a <laughs> hundred years is more like it What's your favorite TV show? Okay, y'all gonna learn this about me. I don't have favorites. Like, I'm not that type of person. Like, I don't have a favorite TV show, food, uh, color, like, movie. Like, I don't have favorites. I like so much that I don't have a favorite. Like, I don't. 
but it says what's your favorite tv show i really don't feel like i had one but if i had to watch a tv show that i had to watch like on end like reruns and just like watch that for the rest of my life it would probably be martin it will probably be martin how tall are you i am five one i am very short five one but don't 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 how much do you weigh um my weight has been fluctuating between 125 and 130 and don't be like damn you so little oh i could never be that what your big five nine ass shouldn't be 125 pounds you you shouldn't you damn sure shouldn't like you would look a fool so just shh, be quiet okay with all that oh you so little da, da, da. my little scrappy ass don't play though either okay <laughs> Are you a virgin? Very much so not. <laughs> I'm very much so not a virgin. I have two children. Nope. <laughs> uh, who's your best friend? Uh, Jesus, God, and my man. Okay. Hey, what are your insecurities? Well, I mean, actually, I was I was always insecure about being so short. But then you learn to not be insecure about stuff you can't change. It's like, I can't go get my knees done. I can't go get new shins put in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're always going to be short regardless. I don't care what you do. You're going to be short. So why be insecure about it? You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of people out here are insecure about or about things they can't change. You know what I'm saying? If it's something that you can change and it's depressing you or making you insecure then do what you need to do to change it but if it's something that you cannot change like girl don't don't put that stress on yourself because there's nothing you can do about it um anything i'm insecure about right now that i can change though would be my mommy gut i need to i need to get on it I need to get my ass down there on that peloton honey and ride it more often i wanted one so bad um, I saw a memory on my phone back in like 2019 where I was like, I want a Peloton so bad. And then I, now I got a Peloton and I don't ride it like I should. So I need to do that. And I'm trying to eat like a little cleaner and healthier. Cause one thing about me, I'm going to eat. I like food. I like food a lot. <laughs> like I love me some food. I like eating different kind of food. I just like dining and, you know, going out to eat, but I love to cook as well. So I just like food. Um, it's a love language for me. <laughs> But yeah, I got to get this mommy gut off of me, y'all. So I'm going to try to get my summer body this winter. Okay? We're going to see. What are things you like? I just told y'all I like to eat. <laughs> I like to travel even though I have not traveled in some years. Now it's been a few years since I've traveled. And I'm definitely trying to get back more into traveling this upcoming next year. Because um, I didn't really get to do any traveling this year. Like we've been doing little weekend like trip like getaway like car trips and stuff. But we haven't like been anywhere like anywhere out out. Um, like real traveling or whatever so I want to do more traveling I like to eat I like to shop I like to play in makeup and skincare and perfume and everything beauty like I just love everything beauty everything girly feminine like that's just my whole thing <laughs> what was your last text Ooh, let's see okay my last text was Trust of Alexis had to help me with my Final Cut Pro upgrade. And she know I ain't no techie person. So she had to like basically do it for me. <laughs> Not walk me through it. Basically do it for me. So I love me some Trust of Alexis because she always be helping me out with that techie stuff. Her and Sheree Del so. Because girl, when it comes to these cameras and this editing software and all of that like... This ain't what I be doing. I just want to get in front of the camera and run my mouth, girl. But I love them both. Yeah. So we was laughing about that because I was like, right, just do it for me. You know, you know, my old ass can't do that techie shit. What's your dream date? Um, I've always wanted to do like the dinner in the sky thing, but I'm afraid of heights. And I, it's crazy because when I was younger, I wasn't afraid of heights. I used to get on roller coasters and do all of that, like all of it, all in my 20s and everything. But my old ass is scared of heights now. Like, I get a little dizzy and, like, nervous. So, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I, but I do want to do that because I never did that. What's your biggest fear? Death. Death is my biggest fear. And I don't know why it's my biggest fear. Because it's something that I actually know is going to happen. Um, I guess the fear of just not knowing when or how. Not wanting it to happen before, like, I know my kids are straight you know what i'm saying like they're not going to need me when i leave um even though it's crazy because my dad now that he's gone like i've never like as, as an adult i've never needed him for anything like as far as like financial was like i've never called my dad i have not borrowed money from my dad since i was like 21 you know what i'm saying i'm 43 so 
I I never call my dad for anything financial, but if I needed to talk to him about something, some real life grown up shit, like I could, but he's gone now. So it, so you think they're not going to need you anymore? So I'm good. Like I don't need him, but I need him. You know what I'm saying? You're always going to need your parent in some kind of way. Even though you'll get along without them. Yeah, but I don't death is it scares me. What are things you don't like about yourself? I think I answered that already. This day ain't gone mommy good. And I need to just I need to work out. I need to get myself in shape. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I would love to be one of those people like every day I wake up and go to the gym and like I really do want to do that. Cuz I really want to be like physically healthy, physically strong. Like I feel like when I was young and I was a a uh, cheerleader, like I was strong. Um even though I was probably smaller than I am now, but I just, you know, I was strong and and limber and sh I, you know stretched out like you know what i'm saying but now i'm like older and stiff and it just ain't the same you know what i'm saying like we all be talking all that shit and everybody think they could fight but a lot of y'all motherfuckers y'all would not last two minutes you'd be out of breath panting talking about hold on stop get off me all that shit because you can't even run a damn mile you know what i'm saying so yeah so it's like you know i want to get my cardio up i want to get just strength training lift weights i want to start doing that type of stuff what are things you that you do like about yourself i like the type of person i am i like i would want to be best friends with me you know what i'm saying because i feel like um, I'm a good person. I have a good heart, good intentions. I'm a good listener. I'm a good talker. <laughs> you know, so I can talk. I can rub my mouth. Um, I want to help solve problems, you know, with people that need my help. I think I'm fun. I have fun energy. I like to have a good time. Like, I don't have time for the bullshit. Like, I don't. Like, anywhere I can avoid it or whatever. Like, I don't have time. I just want to live life, be happy, have fun, laugh. You know, and just live life. I don't have time for bullshit. Like, I, I don't. <laughs> have you ever smoked? Yes, I used to smoke weed. Sure did. Let me tell y'all about that, though. Okay, so let me tell y'all what had me stop smoking weed. Now, I hit it every now and then still. But I ain't just like no blunt smoker like I used to be back in the day. So, I was a blunt smoker. And one day, um, I had went to get a flu shot. You they was telling us to go get our flu shots at work and blah blah blah. So I went and got my flu shot. Girl, when I tell y'all that flu shot got me so sick, I was sick as a dog. Like I thought it was over with. And I'm like, okay, so I couldn't smoke, I couldn't do nothing. So now it's like a couple days later, I'm starting to get back, you know, a little bit back. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, let me sit up and eat this chicken noodle soup, child. Rolled me a blunt, sat it on the nice thing. I said, okay, I'm going to eat this chicken noodle soup. I'm going to take me a nap. And when I wake up, I am going to, um, you know, smoke my weed and blah, blah, blah. Girl, I had a dream that I was in the house and I went downstairs and my daughter was on the couch and she was smoking the biggest spliff I ever seen in my life. Now, she's Jamaican. My daughter and her dad and they people, they all Jamaican. So, girl, she was smoking the biggest spliff sitting on the couch and I was like, what are you, what are you doing? And she just in the dream, like, what, mom? Like, like, it's just, a, it's just weed. Like, and I realized that I smoked weed around my kids. Like it was like how people smoke cigarettes. So she didn't realize that it was actually a drug. You know, she was like, I mean, it's just weed. I'm like, what are you talking about? But I'm like, no, in the dream, like, no, like, you sure, you're not supposed to be smoking that, and da, 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 blah, 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 girl, do y'all know, and it's fun, and the reason why it all came to fruition and the full circle was because I had asked God, I was going through some things at the time, mind you, I'm like, shoot, how old was I, I was 20 something, anyway, I was like, God, I feel like I'm doing everything right that you want me to do, but everything is just not like clicking in. Like, what is it that I'm doing that you don't approve of that I need to stop doing so you can close the gap of, you know, what I feel like is missing in my life or what I need in my life, etc. So I was like, I feel like the only thing I was doing wrong was smoking. So that was prior to me getting the flu shot and getting sick and blah, 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 blah. So after that dream, I woke up and I did not smoke no more. I did not smoke no more weed, no more. Like, it was over with. Um, but shoot, that's like <laughs> 20 years ago. So I mean, I hit the blunt every now and then or whatever, but I ain't really like no blowback smoker like I used to be. Because I used to smoke blunts to the head. 
Have you ever been addicted to something? I was addicted to weed. Now I'm addicted to food. <laughs> Have you ever been hospitalized? Yes, when I had my two children. I sure did. It was so funny, y'all. When I was pregnant, I was so big. When I was pregnant, my son, this man came. I wasn't even hardly ready to even deliver or nothing. But this man came up to me in the store. He was like, are you having twins? I was like, damn, like people. <laughs> I was big as hell, though. I was big. I already told y'all how small I was. And my son was eight pound, over eight pounds. He was eight pounds, three ounces. And it was funny because a lot of the women that, you know, I was at work with and stuff, they was having babies kind of around the same time I was, too. But they was having little, you know, six pound babies and little, you know, <laughs> little babies. And then my little self came out, came with that big eight pound, three ounce baby. And it was a whole lot. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only time I ever been hospitalized. Um, dog or cat? Well, if y'all don't know, I have a dog. He's an American bully. His name is Diego. That is my baby love. That is my baby love. I've never like loved a dog like I love him. Um, and I think it's because we always, like, if we had a dog, the dog wasn't really, I wasn't really attached to the dog. Either the dog lived outside or the dog was in the house, but I was at work. Like, so I didn't really connect with the dog like that. But we got Diego um, during the pandemic. So I was at home and he is just so smart because I was able to, like, raise him, like, raise him like a kid. Like, so he's so smart and he's such a good dog and yeah so he's like my son for real because we just I, I raised him in real life this time the other dogs i ain't raised them they was just there i was just feeding them you know what i'm saying but this is my son <laughs> but actually i'm actually so i love my diego but i'm actually a cat person i am a cat person when you live in the bronx girl cats is everywhere like my dad would go to the bodega and get me a new kitten because cats be <laughs> everywhere and i've always loved cats and he would always just buy me cats when they was when i was little um because cats are just my them is they so much like me now i know y'all always be like they so sneaky there's a sneaky doing what what is they doing huh because i know you ain't talking about this cat sneaking you got that toxic man i know you i know you ain't tripping girl but I'm just playing, but cats, I just love them. They just so independent. You come in the house, they look at you, you look at them, y'all, what's up? How was your day? Okay, cool. And they go on about their business. You put their little food out, they eat, they shit on their own and piss on their own. All you got to do is clean the box out. Like, girl, because all that walking the dog and all of that... Girl, I don't be I don't be wanting to. Like sometimes I'll be wanting to, but sometimes I don't be wanting to. Book or movie? Definitely a movie for me. I used to love to read when I was younger though, but now give me a movie. Night or day? I mean, what are we doing? You gotta tell me what what are we doing? No, I'm a night person. Um and my man's a day person, a morning person, and I'm a night person. I am not a morning person. I never was. I don't know if I ever will be. My dad was a, not a morning person either. I don't know. It's just something about getting up early in the morning or just getting up before my body wants to get up that I just, I, ugh, it's, it just annoys my whole soul. <laughs> I'm a night person. Like, I think because my mind is so much on go, 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 go during the day. I got so much to think about for work, so much to think about to, you know, maintain my home, so much to think about, you know, as far as, you know, my future and, you know, just, you just, your mind is just rushing all day. Mine is anyway. But at night when it's chill, it's quiet, everything is just, you know, done and I can really just sit down and just woosah do my skincare or even take a bath or just something that will like just really relax me and i just get so creative at night i think of so many ideas at night i come up with so many things i have more energy at night too like i don't know what it is but i have energy at night and i'll just be up at night late doing whatever i'm doing and but then knowing I got to get up in the morning, knowing I don't want to get up in the morning, knowing I don't like I'm not a morning person at all. But I have been trying to get up early and I see how like you can get more done when you get up and get out early. You can get a lot done, but I don't know. I'm a night person. <laughs> I need 24 hour stores, girl. Do you have kinks? Girl, the only kinks I got is the ones in my hair. Okay, like, um... I don't be doing no weird stuff. Like, I do a little, you know, I get a little 
freaky or whatever but girl like doing crazy shit like mm -mm. like i don't even watch porn i just don't i don't like it i might be the only person in the whole world that don't because mm -mm. watching other people have sex just does not do anything for me and from what i heard the the porn is so crazy now nah, they pissing and shitting on each other and i just i can't i i can't it's no hell no do you have any tattoos yes i have four tattoos and they are all over 20 years old so i need to get all my tattoos redone you, I need to find exactly who I think I found a couple of people that I want to do them of course they don't live here so I have to like vacation to go get them done but yeah just go get them done I, I need them to just be updated and more vibrant and just you know nice and sexy but still I don't know if they'll be age appropriate or not I, I mean I feel like they will but you know what I'm saying just update them because a lot of times you could look at somebody and tell how old they is from them old ass jail looking tattoos they be having because they just old even though they didn't get the tattoo in jail it's just so old looking looking like they drew it on with a pen like even the ones I have like it's not the colors ain't vibrant no more I mean it was just so pretty when I first got it but girl I mean but what do you expect after 20 years but if I could go back and not get any tattoos, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get them. Even though I love my tattoos and they all mean something to me, I regret none of my tattoos. I might regret where I put them, but I don't regret the tattoo itself. It still means um, something to me. But yeah, I would probably just not get any. Do you have any piercings? Uh, yeah, of course, my ears are pierced when I was like in the eighth grade. I think I pierced my third hole with a safety pin. I was crazy. Um, I pierced my nose with an earring. I was crazy. Um, uh, before I had my kid, my daughter, I had a belly ring. But when I got pregnant with her, I took that out. I had a tongue ring, took that out. Um, yeah, but those were my only piercings. What is your favorite color? I don't have one. What's your 56 picture on your camera roll? Ooh, child. Let's see. Oh, well, clearly I don't be taking that many pictures. It's, it's my son back when he went to homecoming, like in 2022. So I don't be taking a lot of pictures. That's my son when he went to homecoming. Ooh, I was hoping it wasn't nothing crazy, chair. No, I'm just playing. I don't be having nothing in my phone, y'all. <laughs> What's your Snapchat? I don't got one no more. What's your Twitter? Don't got one no more. Like, how do y'all keep up with all this social media? So you got to post on Instagram. You got to post on TikTok. You got to post on Twitter. You got to post on Snapchat. Got to post on YouTube. Like, I cannot keep up. Like, me, I'm struggling with YouTube and Instagram. And then trying to sprinkle in a little TikTok, girl. And it's I'm sure it's something coming next. Y'all done threw this dumbass threads in there. That shit ain't nothing but Twitter all over again. I'm tired. I'm so tired. What was the last thing you ate? Oh, I ate this salmon salad earlier. So I went to um, Sam's Club with my mother-in-law. Sam's Club is like Costco if y'all don't have a Sam's Club around. It. But it's just like Costco. Um, So we went there and then uh, we went to lunch. Um, And I had me a salmon salad. It was so good. It had like cranberries and candy pecans or some kind of candy nuts in it. And it had cheese and the dressing was white French. And, and the salmon was like a maple bourbon salmon. Oh, it was so good, y'all. It was so good. Who's your favorite person? Besides myself, God, my kids, my man, my friends, my close family. Well, my close family is really his family because I don't really have no family here. I only got one aunt, my dad's sister. He only had one sister. And that's the only family I have here. All our other family being moved away. They ain't been here forever, girl. So it's like, why am I still here? Break yourself from 1 to 10. I'm going to give me a good 8. I'm going to give me a good A. I need to get this body together, honey. Once I get this body, body in, honey. <laughs> what are four turn-ons? Um, I love a man that has good hygiene, which I love about my man. He's a very, very clean person. Um, how well you treat me, how you love on me, how you, how affectionate you are to me, how you take care of me. Like those are turn ons for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, he gotta be able to dress. He gotta have some swag. He can't be no corny nigga. Like he can't be, mm -mm, these dudes is just too corny. They too worried about putting they self all in the camera and I don't know it's just the corn is at an all-time high you know what I'm saying like oh you got to put your designer shoes in the thing in the camera and I'll show your little watch and or like that kind of shit be corny to me like you got to put your uh steering wheel in the in the video in the so people can see what kind of car you drive like dudes that do that like that shit corny to me I don't like no corny nigga like I don't 
I just can't do corn. I cannot do corn. Like your swag, you know, your, you know, car you drive, the shoes you got on, like all of that need to speak for itself. Like you don't need to be putting it out there. But I know this is like a social media world. So it's like, if you don't film it, it didn't happen or you didn't have it or whatever. I don't know. But I come from before all of this shit. And a lot of these niggas on here is corny. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Corn is at an all time high. I don't like it. What color underwear am I wearing right now? Okay, y'all try, y'all try me spicy or whatever. Actually, the underwear that I'm wearing is this color, <laughs> and the so is the bra. <laughs> so I do be liking the match, like you know what I'm saying. Like I always feel like your bra and your panties should match. I know sometimes we be having them situations, you know, you got to put period panties on, your granny panties, and sometimes, you know, but no matter what, if you got your period panties, granny panties on, or whatever, you always got a black, white, or nude bra to go with them. So you should always have a matching bra and panty set on, period. Like, that's just me. Y'all do what y'all want. That's just me. And of course, make sure they're clean in case you get hit by a bus. Okay. How I feel right now. Oh, my feelings are so split down the middle right now because on this hand, I'm so happy about so many things that are going on in my life. Um, I'm happy about how things are progressing. I'm happy about some things that are coming up. So I'm happy about that. But then at the same time, um, I'm emotionally struggling with struggling with some other things that are going on in my life and you know the timing of things which I have no control over. Like I really have to put my trust in God and know that he's going to work everything out. But I'm just like, you know, why have I been dealing with this for so long? And why is it not? You know what I mean? Like I should, things have should have been done sooner. And like two years ago, they ain't done now, but finally things are picking up. So my emotions have been kind of all over the place. And that's kind of why I had to take a break from YouTube and kind of get some things in my life in order, some things in my, you know, just really just sit down and, you know, just structure some things out so they can go according to plan. So my emotions have been kind of all over the place. I've been like happy and stressed and struggling all at the same time. So I'm I'm all over the place for real. It's okay to not be okay. But you should, you definitely like check on your strong friends. Because I feel like don't nobody, I ain't going to say that. Let me take that back. I feel like people that I would expect to check on me don't. Um... Because they just be like, oh, you know, Denise cool. She's strong. Yeah, she'll figure it out or whatever. But it's not always the case. Like, sometimes I need somebody to talk to, too. You know what I'm saying? To kind of, you know, work through my situations, too. Sometimes you might just need, you know, another ear to help you with a problem or, so it's, you know, a solution to a problem. Um, or sometimes you just want to talk, you know? So, yeah, check on your strong friends because they we struggle, too. <laughs> Something I really, really want. I want a new car. I think it's about time for me to get a new car. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I want a new house. I'm ready to move up out of here. That's one of the things that should have been happening with the end. But things are going in a positive direction. So yeah. Someone I miss. My dad. I miss my dad a lot. Someone I love. I love myself. I love God. I love my children. I love my man. I love my close friends. My relationship with my parents, well, my dad is no longer here on this earth, but I still love him. And I don't really talk to my mom. I don't think I've talked to her since May of 2022. Yeah. My favorite holiday. Well, other than my birthday, um, I love Christmas and I love Thanksgiving. And I love the 4th of July. And I only love the 4th of July because the weather is nice and it's always a party, a kickback, a cookout, or something to do on the 4th of July for the 4th of July. But the holiday itself i can care less about what is an embarrassing moment oh <laughs> let me tell y'all what happened to me when i was in school i was in elementary school y'all we had to walk home these kids right a lot of these kids don't know nothing about walking to and from school so we had to walk to and from school so i was walking home from school and we we walk down this street and then you come to this bridge and you cross over this bridge and then the street kind of continued and I lived like way like four or five blocks down the street after you cross over the bridge. But my friends that I walked with, um, a lot of them like, you know, starts pairing off after, you know, before the bridge or whatever. So I'm on my way home. I'm walking so fast because y'all, I got to pee so bad. I got to pee so bad. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to hurry up and get home. I got to hurry up and get home. Y'all, I was almost home, probably about four blocks away from home. And I couldn't hold it no more. I could not hold it no more. And the most embarrassing part was it was 
freezing winter time outside so i'm walking down the street i can't hold it no more y'all i started pissing <laughs> pissing on myself mind you it's freezing outside so my pants is smoking like smoking it's just hot piss all on my pants i'm walking down the street pants just on fire just smoking just smoke coming all off my pants i know people riding bibles like that little girl's pants must be on fire y'all that was so embarrassing so embarrassing even though I don't know if anybody saw me because I was a kid. Like, I wasn't even... I just couldn't believe that <laughs> that happened. And that I couldn't even hide it because my pants is smoking while I'm walking home. <laughs> then I started freezing because after the pee wasn't hot no more. And I'm fucking cold with this wet piss on me. Cold wet piss on me trying to get home. Like, oh my gosh. So I ain't do that no more. I was peeing before I left to, um, to walk home after that. Wasn't one, one, none of my friends walking with me, so they ain't see it. So it was cool, but still, it was still embarrassing because I knew it happened. Where do I work? Um, I work in human resources at the job that I work at. I wouldn't say like where I worked at. But um, I'm the numbers lady. I'm the money lady. So I move millions of dollars every week from my company, from, one com from our company to yeah um multiple other companies or whatever but yeah i have to move a lot of money um every every day every week during work and yeah i'm i'm the money lady they call me the money lady <laughs> what are my future goals so i guess my future goals are to um i'm hoping i don't know if this is gonna happen but i was hoping to retire at 45 meaning that i don't have to work in corporate no more but that's only a couple years from now, so I'm not really sure. I'm definitely already vested for my pension and all of that good stuff because I've been at my job for 17 years. So I wanted to stay till I've been there 20 years, but I wouldn't be able to actually collect my pension till I'm 55. So I'm not really sure how I want to do that, but I would love to retire early um, and just be able to make money with my other businesses. Um, once that continues to grow and it's financially prospering to where I can retire early, then that's what I plan to do Um and move out this house, move into a bigger house. Um, so when my daughter is done with school, we want her to come back and live with us. And yeah, those are like my immediate goals, like in the next five years. And also to get myself in shape, get, like really get myself in shape, really get into being in shape, being healthy, exercising, working out. Like I really would love for that to be a part of my life. Um, either that or get on somebody's table, child, one or the two, but I got to get this body together. But even when you get your body done, like you still need to work out to maintain that. Cause it doesn't make sense to go get surgery and then you come back and you just eating steak and potatoes and this, da, 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 da. And then your gut start coming back. It's like, well, you know, what's the point? I see that happen to a lot of people that have surgery, especially the, um, young girls that had surgery. And now they're starting to get older and they're getting towards their 30s. And you can kind of see the ones that worked out and the ones that didn't work out. And they're starting to get that older weight. And yeah, yeah, because a lot of people had, were getting surgeries before they even had like their real womanly body. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like their hips wasn't even spread out yet. You know what I'm saying? If you older my age, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all. So that was our Q&A. Hopefully you guys know me a little bit better. And I'm so glad I'm vlogging now. I'm ready to get into just chilling with y'all. Talking to y'all outside of sit down videos. Because you can't really get to know me in those videos like you can in a vlog you know what i'm saying you really get to see my life i'm not traveling every week i'm not going to the club every weekend like that's just not, not my life um but i can't wait till we do get to go you know traveling again and stuff like that but if you just like regular life and regular people doing regular stuff um then you know this is what we're doing y'all so i am so happy to be vlogging again it's just so nice to just be able to sit down and talk to y'all about real things and real life and real situations and all of that. So, so I told y'all I went to Sam's Club with my mother-in-law early. I came back. I made dinner. Now I did my makeup so I can do this Q&A and I need to record some videos for y'all because y'all like... Where y'all, where you at girl? Where you at? So let me record some videos and I will see y'all later.
have been definitely thinking about y'all um, for sure. It's just been so much going on in my personal life. I just had to take a break, even though YouTube is like an outlet for me. Even though it's work, but it's still an outlet for me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we about to get back into it, back into the swing of things. I missed you guys. Thank you so much to everybody that reached out to me, um, whether it was on the DM or in the comments or whatever, just checking on me like, hey, girl, you good? And I just really want to say thank you. I feel like I need to start doing that more in my real life, like telling the people that I love, that I love them more, telling the people that, you know, I appreciate and care about them, that I appreciate and care about them more. And I feel like I need to do that more on my channel too, because I mean, I just jump right into my videos. I don't tell y'all at the beginning to subscribe and use my links and blah, blah, blah all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you like me and you want to watch my content, you're going to watch, you're going to subscribe and all of that. But I do want to take the time to really say... Thank you to the people that check up on me, the other influencers that check check up on me. You know, I have subscribers that reach out to me um, and on the DM and all of that. Like, girl, you good? Just checking on you. Ain't seen you. Just want to make sure you good. And I really, really appreciate that. And I want to give a special shout out to just everybody that is subscribed to my channel. Y'all that like my videos, comment. The ones that use my links to shop, y'all the real MVP, you know. And I just really, really want to just take that time, take this time to um, say that. And... I love you guys. So I'm sitting here about to do my skincare. I just got out the shower. I'm all glazed up. Okay. Um, let me tell y'all what I use tonight. So tonight I just went in with this by Naturium. This is the uh, Perfector Salicylic Acid Body Wash. Um, Charade Soul put me onto this and I've been using it just at night. Um, I either use it on its own when I just want a body wash that doesn't have a fragrance or sometimes I pump it into another body wash just so I have like a little exfoliation properties in my body wash for the evening. Y'all, I'm down to the last drop on this Necessaire uh, deodorant. They don't even have this green packaging no more. The pack packaging is like clear. Now I got a backup of it. And I could need to go ahead and put this in the empties. But every time I want to, I'm like, no, let me get that little corner. Let me get that little corner. So y'all know I love to use this because it has exfoliating properties like AHAs in here. So it helps keep, you know, your underarms all nice and light. I went in with my um, ordinary toner up under my arms. So I think my underarms is looking okay. I probably need to wax or shave or something. But as far as like them looking bright and they doing pretty good. I'm getting every last little drop of that though. Then I went in with this Body Proud Exfoliating Body Serum. I don't like that it has a dropper. It's just not convenient when you're trying to put it all over your body. Um, so I just pour it into my hands and use it. So um, it's okay. It's only okay because sometimes i use it and it peels and sometimes i use it and it doesn't so it just all depends like what body lotion i use it with it doesn't seem to be peeling today um but yeah sometimes it does so it's okay i went in with this glycolic acid uh body moisturizer by glytone i actually really like what this does for my skin but i hate that it takes so much to rub this in anything like a retinol body cream or exfoliating type of body cream they usually take so long to rub in for me i don't know why this does the same thing so i usually just mix it in with another lotion and when you put it on it's gonna seem like it's taking forever to rub in but once it's in it's in you can put an oil on top of it and it'll rub in even better then i went in with the royal sandalwood body cream by skin potion and this just smells like a nice creamy like sandalwood and this goes with so many fragrances i went in with narciso rouge so this is a like musky powdery irisy um kind of floral fragrance so i really do like this i actually finally 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 filmed my uh perfume collection y'all it took like three hours because i had to pull everything off the shelves wipe out the shelves wipe down the uh fragrances and all of that it's not like i have a boatload of fragrances i only got like 200 but it took like three hours to film that video and watch when i edit it it's gonna probably be like 45 minutes like all of that just to break it down to 45 minutes but yeah i finally did that and i pulled this out because i'm like i gotta start pulling out um fragrances that i have not used in a while i haven't worn that i still love and this is one of them so i'm wearing this tonight for bed okay let's get into skincare because girl my face is so dry and ashy. Oh my gosh. I don't know what. How people don't drink water. Water is just so freaking good to me. This is my towel cup. I drink out of this like every single day. I love this cup. 
it just keeps my ice in there for like 12 hours like i put this i put ice in it before i go to bed and i have ice in there in the morning like i wanted to buy one of those cute little carafts you know you put by your bed with the little picture and the little glasses and all of that on the little tray and everything is so super cute so aesthetically pleasing but girl i don't want to get up and drink room temperature water i want ice cold water in the middle of the night in the morning and all of that so yeah the carafe i can't do it <laughs> i can't do it. i need ice cold water what is it about that stanley cup that everybody likes like why is it 45 dollars? y'all need to tell me why because because i don't know i need to know why it's 45 dollars let's get into this skincare i already cleans my cleanse my face um in the shower and i use this by um elemis this is the dynamic resurfacing face wash by elemis i have been using this for years i need to go ahead and use this one up because i have a backup already so i do actually really love this and it's nice and a real gentle exfoliator but it does exfoliate like if you try to use this every night you're gonna wonder why your skin is like dry and kind of peeling this is really resurfacing your skin so i don't use this every night but i have been trying to make sure i use it like probably two to three times a week now i'm gonna go in with this bha watermelon toner by glow recipe so y'all first let me tell y'all how the devil has been trying to defeat me as far as recording and vlogging and all of that i've recorded two vlogs one of the vlogs i recorded and on this camera I had I put a, a different microphone on it like a vlogging microphone and it had the wind muffle on it why because I ain't never took this camera outside it's never seen the light of day so why did I even have the wind muffle on it you know what I'm saying like ugh, I don't know so you basically could not hear a thing I was saying in the whole vlog so I had to scrap that vlog then I'm like okay let me try this again I vlogged again and did not have enough space on my computer could not upload the video couldn't download it to my external hard drive it was just like the only option i had was to delete the vlog and start over and i was like you know what i'm i'm, I'm done I'm, I'm not finna do this i i got way too much other stuff going on and i can't be letting this stress me out and then i was like you know what i ain't finna let the devil defeat me i ain't finna do that i i mm -mm, nope so third time's a charm hopefully everything goes well with this one i'm going in with my sk2 first treatment essence i swear by this product i i can never be without it never ever ever it is so good for your skin it has your skin so hydrated and youthful and girl talking about holy grail products this is a holy grail product i need to order a new one because look it makes me sad to see so y'all they finally called us into the office and told us to clean out our offices and desks and cubicles and everything like basically y'all ain't never coming back in here it's a work from home environment from now on for hr and you know i was like okay girl like you ain't got to tell me twice because i ain't like coming in here looking at y'all no way even though i haven't had to really you know go to work since the pandemic like i would just go in once a month and do some stuff and i'll stop, still probably have to do that like they'll have like mobile workstations or whatever but you ain't gonna have like your own office your own cubicle your own desk like it ain't yours no more ain't nobody got no pictures up plants and all of that like is this is come do what you gotta do and get the hell on so i'm cool with that because i only go into the office like once a month and i really don't even really have to do that no more so sometimes i will have to but yeah girl i'm like so okay with that because i was not a work person anyway like i wasn't in there in, in the morning like hi sally hi Susie, how was your weekend how like no i don't care i don't care about your weekend your dog your kids your husband none of that like i don't care do you have my report or no and i know they was probably like denise is such a bitch but i don't care girl i, I don't care i learned my lesson with them people them is your co-workers they are not your friends they are not your friends so mm, this is the why was my eye just stuck? <laughs> this is the dialba first serum spray first spray serum everybody's been hyping and i've used it a couple times and so far it's okay it ain't giving what they say it's been given but it's all right i was applying for this supervisor job and i did the interview or whatever and one of the girls was like girl what happened like what was they asking you you know what how did it go da, da, da. and i'm cool when i'm telling them like it went cool you know they was asking me this da, 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 da. do you know the girl that was asking me what they said da, da, da. you know that bitch got that job 
She sure did. So she was basically asking me what they asked so she could prepare her answers for the interview. Didn't tell me she was applying for the job, interested in the job, like nothing, nothing at all, nothing. I was like, oh, these bitches is really something. Like, wow, you y'all really just you can't trust these hoes. They will step on you to get where they gotta go, and that's just how it is. That's just how it is. And were they gonna hire the black woman over the white woman? Absolutely not. They were not, so and they didn't. But you know what? Sometimes you think you want something, but you don't need it. You you be like, God, I want this job. You praying for the job and all of that, and God like, no, that job is not for you. And he was day gone right. He was so right because that job stressed her out. She don't even work there no more. She don't even work there no more. That job stressed her out so bad. She was balding in the middle, all type of shit, girl. So I was like, thank you, Lord. Because I thought I wanted that job. I don't. And you know what? So I'm going in with this by Dermalek. This is their self-esteem beauty sleep serum. So yeah, y'all. So I thought I wanted that job. But then I had to realize, like, girl... You are not the supervisor type. Like, I, I don't even care what other people is doing. So, I don't know why I thought that I wanted to supervise other people and be making sure they doing their job and all of that. Like, I don't even care what other people is doing. Like, I would have been a terrible supervisor. I don't give a damn what y'all are doing. I only care about my job. You know what I'm saying? And, and making sure... Other people is doing what they were supposed to do is would be a part of my job. Like, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I like my job. My job is an isolated job. Don't nobody in the company know what I do. And we, our company is about 12,500 people. Don't nobody in the company know what I do. So, I mean, I guess that's job security, but yeah, like, and my job is isolated. Like, I don't have to work with nobody else. I can put my headphones in like I do when I used to go to work. Put my headphones in and do my job. And I don't have to talk to nobody. I don't have to be bothered with nobody. Nothing. And I just love that about my job. Like, I really, really do. I like the way that serum feels on my skin. Let me put this on my tray. And then I'm going to go in with this one by Paula's Choice. This is the Pro Collagen Peptide Booster. But yes, y'all, so it looks like it's a completely work from home environment from here on out. And I am definitely okay with that. So I made Sunday dinner today. I'm so tired. I'm so ready to just chill and relax and curl up in the bed or on the couch and just watch movies and relax. Um, I made some, what did I make? I made baked beans. I made cabbage. Uh... I made potato salad, some barbecue chicken wings, some salmon. So I kind of made a lot of food so we can have that like today and tomorrow. Um, I love leftovers. I can eat leftovers for a long time. But my man and my son, they eat it like today, the next day, and then they through. <laughs> they don't eat it like days on end like I can. So um, I don't even know why I be making a lot of food like that. But I don't know. I just like to cook. So I cook a lot like it's a whole bunch of people coming over here. Ain't nobody coming over here, girl. So for my moisturizer, I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream. Y'all know I love this. This is for my dry skin girls that like good old Vaseline type of feeling. This is so balmy and I just absolutely love this. Everything that I put on my face, this locks it in. Like the moisture is going nowhere. Nowhere at all. And I'm finally able to kind of use this up because I was trying to savor it, trying to wait to the next sale, girl, because this ain't cheap. But, you know, if I love it, I'm going to pay for it. Do I want to get it on sale? Absolutely. But my girl Keiko, she sent me one and now I don't have to save this. I can go ahead and use it up. So thank you so much to Keiko. Love her to pieces because she knows I love this. She put me on to it because she hates it. <laughs> she was like, oof, girl, I cannot use that it's just way too balmy and greasy and too much like vaseline and i was like that's why i will love it and i tried it and i have been loving it ever since this is definitely not for everybody though but you know i'm an 80s baby honey i come from the old vaseline era <laughs> and vaseline used to fix everything <laughs> but yeah what was i saying Oh, I don't be having a lot of people at my house. Like, I don't really be having too much of nobody. Family comes over every now and then, but I really don't have company and people over my house. Uh, we just, I don't know, we just don't. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like, ever since the pandemic, like, I don't really hang out with girlfriends like I used to. Not that I don't want to. 
Um, but it seemed like ever since the pandemic, everybody just kind of went their own ways. Um, I, and I will say too, I feel like it's partially my fault why I don't hang out with my friends like I used to because I don't reach out like I should. So that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. This is the Ula Henriksen uh, Preserve Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. So I'm going to put this on. And I feel like like I need to reach out to people more. And one of my girlfriends, she did actually reach out to me the other day. And she was like, uh, she just left me a voice text like, girl, I just wanted to say, hey, I was thinking about you and I'm trying to do better about reaching out to people when I'm thinking about them and just let them know that I'm thinking about them. If you want to get together, let me know. And I was like, and I, you know, texted her back and I told her I appreciated her reaching out to me. And I need to do the same thing to like, I need to start, you know, reaching out to my old friends again. But I'm definitely down for having and meeting new friends. Like since I've been into the in the YouTube space, I have been getting more friends that um, you know, are in the YouTube space. So we have stuff to relate to and then you kind of see their personalities and their style and how they are and stuff like that. So you can relate to them on other levels besides just, you know, YouTube. But some of my old girlfriends, I feel like it's so many things that they own and I'm not on it or, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. I just feel like we all, I won't necessarily say growing apart, but kind of growing apart or we just, I don't know, just not into the same things. Like my one girlfriend, she cool or whatever, but she the one that's like, she always on deck. She had all the parties, the celebrations, the get togethers, the gatherings, like she's on at everything. And I just don't be wanting to be around people like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, not the old people that I was around 20 years ago. I just don't want to be around them same people, you know? And then my one other friend, she cool. Um, we've been friends for over 20 years and I love her to pieces, but she's one of those that like if she ain't got no man she be all depressed and sad and all of that and i don't i don't know maybe i just can't relate because i got a man i don't know um i feel like she feels like she struggles because she doesn't have a man so like you know she feel like she want a man to help her financially and just love her and show her you know love and appreciation i feel like she kind of misses that in her life so i do feel like she needs a good man because all the ones she picks girl they don't be about shit okay they don't be about shit they be trying to act like they all about shit and then when she get with them she moves them in too damn quick first of all why is you moving them in in here first of all second of all it's like soon as they moving her house they ain't giving her no money they ain't paying no bills they ain't doing nothing and then she like stuck with them trying to get them out like girl girl and then if she don't got no man, she be seeming so sad and depressed. And I just feel bad for her. Because she, she is a really good person. She's attractive and all of that. But why she always grabbing losers? I do not know. I don't know. I think she be grabbing people feeling like she's helping them. But girl, you ain't helping them. You enabling them. And just making more stress for yourself. I don't even know where my camera cut off at. I'm in here just running my mouth. My other good friend, she lives in Atlanta. She's been living there for a minute, like maybe like 10 years or something. Um, and me and her, we have a great relationship. Like when we get together, we laugh, party, talk. Tra that's my travel buddy. And I haven't been traveling with her in th some years now. Like it's been like three years I haven't traveled with her. But yeah, like that's my girl. And... I miss her, but she's so far away. But I love being around her. She's just so much fun, so full of energy and life. And I just love her to pieces. My other friend I was super close with, she be all about her, man. Like, ever since she got a man and a husband, like, she act like she can't do nothing with the girls. Like, she can't. She don't want to go nowhere. I'm like, damn, you don't want to do nothing? I don't want to sit over here with your, you and your husband. Like, every time I got to want to see her, I got to go sit over there with her and her husband and they kids. And I, I mean, that's cool. But I don't want to always do that. Like, girl, come on, let's go. Let's go to brunch. Let's go shopping. Let's go do, like, girl shit. I don't want to sit in here with your, your husband and his friends and cousins and all them all the time. Like, I just don't want to. So, we don't really talk much. So, I don't know. I don't know. 
I do miss having my girlfriends and, you know, doing stuff with my girlfriends from time to time. But, you know, I be with my man most of the time. We best friends. So, everything I want to do, he be wanting to do it too. And we just always be together. But you do need that, um, you know, girl friendship, girl conversations, girl talk. Like, I feel like you still need all of that you know but i have been meeting new people and building new friendships in my life with people that i feel like i can call them and if i really wanted to talk about something i feel like i can i really do feel like i can they are just nice genuine people and i don't feel no fake or phoniness with them and so yeah so i'm in my 40s and i'm definitely down for the new friends i'm definitely down for the new friends but they gotta be the right friends they can't just be like i, I ain't just trying to be friends with everybody they gotta be the right friends you know what i'm saying that's important too y'all got this pr package from oksha like probably like two months ago <laughs> and i never talked to y'all about it but i did try all the fragrances and test them out so maybe in the morning tomorrow um on my lunch break or something we can go over these and i'll tell y'all how i feel about them but this packaging is so cute though it's like super cute this is like a little handbag to me <laughs> and you can use this for travel and all type of stuff but yeah we'll go over these and i'll tell y'all what i think about these because somebody did ask me about oaksha fragrances and i didn't have any oaksha fragrances so now i have these and i have an opinion about them so we'll talk about that tomorrow but right now girl i'm getting ready to go downstairs and curl up on the couch and just chill until it's time to go to sleep.